Hi, my name is Brian Swan. I'm a content publisher at Microsoft. In this video, I'll show you how to install the SQL Server driver for PHP. I'll assume that you have PHP already installed and that you have SQL Server already installed. The driver is a single DLL file that you need to download. You can do that uh, by going to microsoft.com slash downloads. When I get there, I'll search for PHP and I see that it's the second entry in the results. Notice that CTP is in the title. That's uh, a mistake. It is not a community technology preview. These are production quality bits. I will now download it. Should just take a few seconds. Agree to the license terms. And I'm going to put this in a folder on my desktop called SQL Server Driver for PHP. OK. Let's see exactly what was downloaded. In addition to a readme file, a documentation file, and a license file, you'll see six DLL files. Which one you want to use depends on whether or not you're running PHP 5.2 or PHP 5.3, whether or not you have a non-thread safe or a thread safe build of PHP, and whether or not PHP was compiled with the VC6 compiler or the VC9 compiler. To see the details of my PHP installation, I'm just going to call a script that calls the PHP info function. And I can see that my PHP installation is a 5.3 install. It was compiled with the VC9 compiler. And scrolling down just a little bit, I can see that it was, it's a non-thread safe installation. So going back to this folder, since I'm running PHP 5.3, I have a non-thread safe installation, and it was compiled with the VC9 compiler. This is the DLL that I want to use. Now I need to do two things. I need to put this file in my PHP extensions folder, and I need to modify my PHP INI file. So the first thing I'm going to do is to copy this file name, and then I'm going to find my PHP installation folder which is in my programs 86 file. And I'm going to move this to my extension directory. And then I'm going to look at my PHP INI file, go all the way to the bottom, and make an addition here. paste in the name that I copied, save this file, and now we need to restart the web server. Since I'm using IIS, I'll use the IIS manager to restart my web server. All I have to do is click restart here, and once the web server is restarted, I will simply reload this script that gives me my PHP info, and see if we can find the prefix SQL SRV, which we can. The SQL SRV is the prefix for all functions in the driver. And we can see that we get some of the default uh, settings shown as well. So that's it. Now we have access to SQL Server from PHP. If you followed my instructions and the extension didn't load, take a look at the driver documentation that came with the download. One common problem is that the correct version of the SQL Server, SQL Server native client isn't installed on the same machine that you're running PHP on. For the 1.1 version of the driver, which we just installed, you need the 2008 native client. And in the documentation, there are links to download for the download packages, depending on uh, your machine architecture. Uh, also, in the getting started section of the documentation are more, is more detail about all the steps that I just walked you through. So this is a good resource. Some other resources that you might find helpful are here. Uh, this first link is to the uh, SQL Server Driver for PHP team blog, the development team blog. The next one is for the source code for the uh, PHP driver. 
Uh, the next one is for the forums where the dev team and I and, uh, and others will answer questions that you have about the driver. And the last two links are my blog where you can find uh, information about PHP and Microsoft technologies in general. And I tweet about those on Twitter um, and you can follow me there. Thanks a lot. I hope this was helpful.